Today's Midday Kentucky Cooking segment brought to you by Creative Kitchen and Bath, where you will always cook in style. Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. I'm Chef Allison Davis in the Wild Time Kitchen, and today I am doing one of... Um, I just love these for dinner. It's sheet pan supper. I've done these before on the show where everything just goes on a sheet pan. You throw it in the oven and you've got dinner in a matter of minutes. And during a weekday with family, with swimming, with soccer, with baseball, with piano, you name it, some days you just need a quick go-to that's healthy um, as well. So this is uh, some Alaskan cod, wild cod, and I'm going to season these up. I'm going to go kind of an Asian route with the flavors. I'm going to just do like some sesame oil. I'm almost out, but a little bit of sesame oil on the fish, and then I'll also do a little bit of olive oil on there as well. So just sesame oil. We'll season this up with um, some salt and pepper. Okay. Easy, right? Then we can top this. Uh, my family and I, we like a little bit of spice. Go figure. I'm going to do a little sriracha on the cod. I love sriracha. So a little sriracha sauce there. And then we're going to crust this so that instead of doing a breading, we're just going to take some sesame seeds and just kind of coat a little sesame seeds right on top. Okay. Don't worry about if some get on the, tr on the tray because it'll just be fine with our vegetables, okay? So that's really it. That's all I'm going to do with our cod. It's ready to go. It's got the heat. It's got that sesame flavor. It's got salt and pepper. Um, and then we are going to now fix up our vegetables. So I'm going to go with some Brussels sprouts. And I cut the core off, and I'm actually going to quarter these. And the reason is because your cod is going to cook in about you know, 10 minutes, right? Depending on the thickness. So if you leave your Brussels sprouts whole, they're not going to get done in time. So that's why we're just going to cut and kind of break them up. All right. So we'll just quarter these. And then I'm going to do a little bit of ginger on these to kind of work in with those Asian flavors. All right. So I'll stop there so you can kind of see what I'm working with. We'll take our quartered uh, Brussels sprouts, kind of throw those all over the tray. Um, probably should have done this first, but um, you could take this in a bowl. I've got this ginger paste that I picked up at the store, uh, Kroger. I just love using this sometimes instead of the fresh ginger. Again, if you're doing this on the fly and you're in a hurry, you don't have time necessarily to peel and grade ginger. So I'm using a little bit of this yuzu sauce I picked up at Trader Joe's. It's hot and it's citrusy. It's one of my faves. And we're going to go with a little bit of garlic. Okay, so just a little bit of minced garlic there. And that is about it. I've got some carrot, shredded carrots that I picked up. So a little bit of shredded carrots. Again, those will cook super fast because they're small. And then we kind of just toss everything together so that it, all those flavors are mixed in. And then we'll go over everything again with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then pop this in the oven. All right. And literally, there's dinner for your family. However many pieces of cod you need, just quarter up some more Brussels sprouts, and you've got dinner ready to go. I would put this in the oven for about 10 minutes at about 375. And really, all I'm looking for is once the fish is nice and white, the proteins kind of float to the top, and then the fish will start to kind of flake apart on you. And I've got one here um, that's finished, and it's in this little container because this is actually one of the meals that we do through our weekly meal program, which is available on our website. Um, if you go to wildtimecooking.com, you can click on the weekly meals tab, and you'll see every week that we do a variety of weekly meals. So even if you don't have time to do this, we have fully cooked meals that are ready to go. It's great for um, some of our elderly uh, customers as well that maybe don't, aren't able to cook and, and still want some help healthier options. Um, and also we do small family portions for families that are just, like I said, on the go and just need like a nice healthy option for a weeknight. So go on there and look at some of our weekly meals if you're needing um, a good healthy meal option uh, for your meals. And we have those ready and prepared every Monday. So 
You can find this recipe at Midday Kentucky site at WTBQ.com forward slash recipes tab. And you can find me on Instagram at Chef Allison Davis. And you're watching Midday Kentucky. And we will be right back after this short break.